So we've looked at the indefinite article, a, an, or one, and we've looked at the definite article, the. Now we're going to look at something called the partitive article. Now it's got the word part in it, which means the sense that you don't want all of something. So in fact, what the partitive article refers to is some or any. So it's not the whole thing, it's some or any of something. And just like that there are four definite articles, four words for the, one for masculine nouns, singular, one for feminine nouns, singular, one for all plural nouns, whether masculine or feminine, and one for nouns that are singular that begin with a vowel on H to make sure they flow. There are four partitive articles. There are four words for some uh, or any. Uh, and they work and they follow the same logic as the definite article, in fact, that they are based upon and they change and vary whether the noun is masculine and singular, whether the noun is feminine and singular, whether the noun is plural, or whether the noun begins with a vowel or an H. So what I'll do is I'll start by giving you some examples of masculine nouns saying uh, some or any. So for example, some ham or any ham would be du jambon, du jambon. Some or any beef, du boeuf, du boeuf. Some or any cheese, du fromage, du fromage. Some or any cake, du gâteau. Some or any honey, du miel, du miel. Some or any chocolate, du chocolat. So all of those nouns, what they have in common is they are all masculine nouns. So in front of a masculine noun, if you want to say some or any of it, we say du. Okay. So if we want to say, I would like some ham, we'd say, je voudrais du jambon. I would like some beef. Je voudrais du boeuf. Do you have any cheese? Avez-vous du fromage? So those are the partitive articles for masculine nouns. Now, the partitive article for feminine nouns, we would use de la. De la. So for example, some or any cream, de la crème. Some or any ice cream, de la glace. Some or any salad, de la salade. And some or any soup, de la soupe. De la soupe. So what we've got there is we have our partitive article, some or any, de la, for feminine nouns, de la soupe, de la crème, de la glace, de la salade, even de la pizza. Okay. Now let's look at our partitive article, our word for some or any for plural nouns. And the partitive article for some or any is de. De. So for example, some or any tomatoes, de tomates, de tomates. Some chips or any chips, des frites, des frites. Apples, some or any apples, we would say, des pommes, des pommes. Some or any potatoes, and these are apples of the earth, des pommes de terre, des pommes de terre. Some sweets or any sweets, des bonbons, des bonbons. And uh, a traditional French dish, some snails or any snails, des escargots, des escargots. So what we can do is we can put our phrases that we've had so far, je voudrais, I would like, est-ce que je peux, can I, uh, avez-vous, do you have, we can put those together with the ones of positive articles we've done so far, the masculine du, the feminine de la, and the plural de, and we can put those together. So for example, we could say, um, can I have some snails? Est-ce que je peux avoir des escargots? Est-ce que je peux avoir des escargots? Can I have uh, some cheese? Est-ce que je peux avoir du fromage? Est-ce que je peux avoir du fromage? Can I have uh, some ice cream? Est-ce que je peux avoir de la glace? Do you have any ice cream? Avez-vous de la glace? I would like some ice cream. Je voudrais de la glace. Now, the last one we need to look at, the last part of the article, is for singular nouns, so nouns where there's not more than one, where they begin with a vowel on H to get that sense of flow. So I've got some things here, some uh, foods mainly, and drinks, where you might ask if you can have some or any of them. 
that are nouns that begin with a vowel or an H. There's a common ones that we would use here. For example, one of the most common ones, one of the things we need to sustain ourselves is water, which in French, uh, if you want some water, is de l'eau. De l'eau. And as you can see, the L apostrophe there with E-A-U for water, rather like H2O, uh, the L apostrophe makes it flow, makes that water flow. So de l'eau. De l'eau. And you can add an extra word after that to get a specific type of water, some or any mineral water. You say de l'eau minérale. De l'eau minérale. I would like some water. Je voudrais de l'eau. Do you have any water? Avez-vous de l'eau? Avez-vous de l'eau? Um, you could also say, um, can I have some mineral water? Est-ce que je peux avoir de l'eau minérale? Est-ce que je peux avoir de l'eau minérale? I'll take some water. Je prends de l'eau. Je prends de l'eau. Okay. A couple of other examples now. These are things you eat. Something typically associated with French cuisine. Garlic, which in French is de l'ail. De l'ail. So the word for garlic is ail. A-I-L. And when you want to say somewhere in here, we need to say de l'ail to make that flow. De l'ail. And garlic is really lovely when you combine it with the meat lamb. So you get de l'agneau, de l'agneau, some or any lamb, de l'agneau. So let's put some of those phrases together now, and I'll put them together in French, and see if you can, in the little pause between, translate them into English. You can pause the video if you want to, to try and do that. So I'm going to ask one of the questions or do one of the statements like, avez-vous, do you have, est-ce que je peux avoir, can I have, uh, je voudrais, I would like, or je prends, I take. And I'm going to do it with a partitive article, so we're going to have some or any, so the word's going to begin with D. So we're going to have a du, de la, or de, or de l, with the L apostrophe. See if you can work out what it is I'm saying whether I'm asking a question or making a statement. So here we go. Je voudrais des tomates. Je voudrais des tomates. That's right, I would like some tomatoes. Est-ce que je peux avoir des frites? Est-ce que je peux avoir... Des frites. That's right. Can I have some chips? Je voudrais de l'eau. I would like some water. So hopefully you'll have understood how the words for some or any work. And it is once again tied up to the gender of nouns, whether they're masculine or feminine. Du, some or any for masculine nouns. De la some or any for feminine nouns, de for nouns where you're using it in the plural like potatoes, crisps, chips, and d, e, l apostrophe, de for those uh, nouns that begin with a vowel or an h such as de l'eau, de l'ail. So hopefully this shows that we will have done all three things now. We can say we would like a, I would like the, or I would like some or any.